The Board and Management of Kumul Consolidated Holdings released a media statement dispelling social media rumors that KCH is selling its assets. KCH Chairman Peter Aitzi said he is aware of a previous decision some years ago to sell surplus telecommunication towers to other communication companies, but that decision never eventuated. He said currently there is no sale of communication towers and that decision remains. Similar information was also provided by the Minister for State-Owned Enterprise, Sasindra Mutuvel, who says the idea of selling towers was discussed in 2019. Mutuvel wasn't the SOE minister then, but he explains that the plan back then was to use the money from the sales of the redundant B-Mobile towers to restructure the massive debt in Kumul Telecom Holdings, or KTH. He said the discussion went nowhere because it was blocked with suggestions that it was a fire sale, even though this would have been a big benefit to KTH at that time. Mutuvel said even if the sale was allowed, it would be subject to NEC's approval as all state assets are subject to KCH Act. Under the KCH Act, the sale or disposal of any SOE assets worth more than 10 million kina must be approved by NEC. Mutuvel further says there has also never been a discussion about KTH selling or reassigning Spectrum. He says KTH is not in a position to reassign or sell its Spectrum and this has never been done in PNG. Spectrum relates to the radio frequencies allocated to the mobile industry and over the airwaves. NICTA is the appropriate agency to allocate Spectrum and only NICTA can remove the spectrum from KCH if it doesn't comply and allocate to a newcomer. KCH Managing Director Isikiel Tareka said the allegations made on social media claiming that him and KCH board and the minister having close relations with the principals of Fiji's amalgamated telecom holdings are utter nonsense and pointless speculations made to character assassinate individuals. Meanwhile, the decision to issue a third mobile carrier license to Fiji's Amalgamated Telecom Holdings, or ATH, was made by the previous government and carried out by NICTA. ATH recently partnered in Fiji with Vodafone, a reputable international mobile communications company. ATH is majority owned by the Fiji National Provident Fund. In 2019, ATH announced that it has struck a deal to acquire 70% of shareholders.